What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Under Armour Spotlight Clone 3.0 football cleats. Alright guys, so here are the cleats. Again, these are the Under Armour Spotlight Clone 3.0 MC. We'll give you guys a good look at the box. You guys get a little sneak peek of the colorway. It's a nice white and blue pair, and these are an eight and a half. Black and white Under Armour box. Let's dig in. All right, guys, so here they are. Here are the Under Armour Spotlight Clone 3.0 football cleats. These look a lot like the Spotlight MC 2.0s. They are pretty much the exact same football cleat, but a little bit different. So I think this appears to be like a tweaked and updated version of this, but they don't share the same name. So the whole thing is really confusing. I just went through a whole process of trying to figure out what's what. We're gonna unbox these and then we will have a full review video for these as well. But first thing we're gonna look at is the overall construction of the cleat. This is a lightweight skill football cleat. You've got some nice school pattern on the outside. It's kind of soft, kind of like the quilting we saw on these cleats. So these were the uh, Under Armour Blur Smoke, I believe, and they kind of have like this quilting effect on the outside that gives it a really nice soft feel. And I think they kind of borrowed that and put it on this cleat as well. The lacing system is a little bit staggered, which is really cool. And then they do have the same booty that they had on the Spotlight 2.0, but it's a different material and it's a little bit lower and it's not one piece anymore. So this one was a one piece neoprene. So this one was a one piece neoprene that kind of loosely touched your ankle. This one, it actually tightens up with the laces. So that is a huge game changer. Again, the material is a little bit different. It's kind of soft. It kind of, it has a nice, I don't want to call it per se, but it's pretty cool. Another thing I love about this cleat is that it has a pull tab in the front and then a pull tab in the heel as well. So you guys can really stretch this thing open and get your foot in there, no problem. Super duper lightweight. This upper really does remind me of this cleat we just talked about. Honestly, this cleat appears to be a beautiful blend of what's best about both of these cleats and then updated and tweaked. So really cool. I'm really excited to test these out. I didn't really realize these were a new football cleat until I had them in my hands and I noticed they were a little bit different um, from these. They look pretty much the same. They run at the same price point, but these just look like a way more refined football cleat. I do love this kind of reflective blue Under Armour logo on the heel, kind of this nice little stripe detail there. I believe it says, yeah, it says Under Armour here on the heel loop. And then on the front loop, it says Spotlight. Kind of tough to see, but it's on there, I promise. Then you have a little clone detail there. And this whole like triangle theme is really cool all the way throughout the entire upper, along with this like cool quilted design we talked about earlier. You have an Under Armour logo there on the inside and then some white and blue laces. Again, the laces are a little bit staggered. Um, and then the actual booty appears to run through the whole cleat, but it's kind of separated from the tongue um, a little bit in the middle part, I guess, which kind of allows it for a little bit more ability to kind of adapt and fit to your ankle. As far as the insole, this looks to be another Under Armour insole, which are my favorite 4D foam. Little detail there, super soft, and they feel so good on your foot. It's, it's, it's really thick. Look at the thickness on this. You don't really get that with a lot of football cleats. They want to give you that kind of raw feel, but Under Armour is kind of stuck to the 4D foam, and it is so comfortable. Now for the traction plate, this is going to be the same spotlight traction plate, I think. Yeah, it's the same. So this is the same traction plate. I'm honestly not a huge fan of this. You guys know I'm not really big on circle studs and I have heard a lot of stories about Under Armour studs breaking off. So that's something to keep in mind if you guys do decide to buy some Under Armour football cleats. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven circle studs in the front and then two blade studs. These blade studs are gonna help you cut. And then in the rear, you have two more circle studs and then two more blade studs to kind of anchor the back of the cleat. You guys can't really see it, but it has like this kind of unique, more triangle texture, honestly, in the bottom of the traction plate and then more triangle details beneath the traction plate as well. The triangles on this thing are all over the place. It's apparent that somebody in Under Armour, that's their favorite shape for sure. Continuing on that triangle thing, even look at the eyelets in the actual booty. It's more like triangles. Like, what the heck? There's triangles all over the place. And then like these lines on this, they're arrows, triangles. Maybe they're arrows instead of triangles. It's a combination, there's both of them, all right? All right, we've cleared some space, now we can unbox the second pair. Let's check this one out. So this one, the box says UA Spotlight Clone MTLESC. So that stands for Under Armour Spotlight Clone Molded Cleat Limited Edition, and SC is a mystery to me. I'm not sure what that says, but another eight and a half for me. Let's open these up. So these are going to be their World Tour pair. If you guys watched our Blur Smoke video, you guys kind of know what this is about, but I'll probably go through it again for you guys. Um, this is a World Tour collab pack thing. 
it has a QR code that leads to an actual Spotify playlist. I'll show you guys that in a bit, but let's look at the cleats. Boom, check these out. These things are nuts. Get them both out. Here are the cleats. The colors on these are absolutely ridiculous. You have the black, the purple, and then this kind of teal detail as well. And it really pops. You've got this like crazy holographic detail. There is your QR code. It says world tour there on the rear loop. And then the front loop just has some cool, oh, I see. The front loop has the pause, stop, play, fast forward, rewind, whatever. And then look at just how crazy this is. There's so much going on. You can't even like pick up any specific details in like the upper part of this cleat. And then, oh man, the details continue to the bottom. That's crazy. I'll just give you guys a second to kind of soak in all the different things. So many different logos, so many different, there's an Under Armour QR code, first down digital audio. Let me quickly show you guys kind of how this QR code works. So you're gonna take your phone, click it, try and click it, and it's gonna open a UA Football World Tour playlist. I already have some of these songs downloaded, but a lot of good music for all you guys who like football. So these are the Spotlight clone, and I really can't wait to get going in these. Um, I really do wish they'd update the traction plate, but we'll see how it performs this year with this updated and tweaked model. Now that we've unboxed the cleat, let's get into the review. In these reviews, there's a lot of different things we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the comfort, fit and support, weight, traction, style, what positions these cleats are going to be best for, and lastly, the price. We're going to kick things off by talking about the comfort of the Spotlight Clone 3.0 football cleats. I absolutely loved how these cleats fell on foot. For starters, these cleats have a booty construction that kind of secures your foot and it's separate from the actual upper of the cleat. The lower portion of the booty is a nice foam material and gives you a nice, soft, cozy fit. The upper material is made from a thicker, more supportive material that kind of hugs around your lower ankle really nicely. On the underside of this tongue, there's a thick piece of foam that kind of presses against the top of your foot. So when you lace these up, you don't really feel the pressure of the laces as much on the top of your foot. It makes it feel pretty good. In the heel, these do have a tiny bit of padding, but honestly, it's not enough. Under Armour cleats in the past have been kind of notorious for heel blisters, and I feel like that might happen with these as well. I didn't wear them long enough to find that out for myself, but there isn't a lot of padding back there. Now, the actual upper on this is pretty cool. It has this unique quilt-like design that is both really flexible, but it's also supportive enough so your foot's not sliding in it side to side. The combination of this foam booty and this nice flexible upper material give it a really good, almost custom fit feeling fit and comfort. Also, these cleats have a heel loop and a front loop, which you guys know I absolutely love. Just really helps open up the cleats so you guys can get your foot in there, no problem. And lastly, these have the classic Under Armour 4D foam insole. These are easily the best insoles in football because they give you plenty of cushion. They feel amazing under your feet. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the fit and support. The fit on these is amazing and they do fit true to size. So if you guys wear a nine, get a size nine. Again, with the booties, the lower part does a great job hugging your foot and then the upper part does a great job hugging your ankle. Because of that foam booty we just talked about in this nice flexible upper, when you guys put these on, it truly does give you more of a custom fit than a lot of other cleats on the market. Now, again, with the upper part of that booty, it gives you a spat-like feel around your ankle. It's really unique. I don't think I've really got this in any other football cleat. It really locks down your ankle and gives you plenty of lightweight support, which you don't really get a lot in a true speed football cleat. This cleat also has some of the best heel lockdown of any cleat we've tested all year. You guys can't really see, but in there, there's kind of an indent for where your heel goes, and it really locks it in, and your heel does not move around whatsoever. It almost makes the cleat feel as if it's an extension of your body, which is exactly what you want in a football cleat. The laces on these are a little bit different because they are kind of staggered, but it really laces up just like any other football cleat, helps tighten the cleat, locks it to your foot. Overall, these cleats give you a custom feeling fit because of this upper and the booty, and they have more ankle support than pretty much any other skill cleat we've tested. The next thing we're gonna do is weigh the cleat. In a size 8.5, these weighed in at 11.1 ounces. Honestly, this is a little bit heavier than I expected. The benchmark I typically use for skill cleats is around 10 ounces in the size eight and a half that I always test. And these are a considerable amount heavier than that, but they feel much lighter on foot. I'm not really sure where these are hiding the weight. My guess would be the thick foam insole. It does carry a little bit of weight and without it, the cleat feels pretty light. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the traction. These have the same spotlight traction plate that they've been using for I think five years now. In the front, you have seven circle studs and two blade studs. In the rear, you have two circle studs and two blade studs. And these blade studs on the outside are really nice for changing direction because they just kind of grip in right where you need them to and help you get in and out of cuts. Something unique about these is they don't have any interior studs or side studs, which is a little bit weird. Also, the plate itself is super snappy. It kind of propels you into that next step, but because it's so stiff, it does kind of hurt your feet a little bit after a while. Overall, I do really wish Under Armour would kind of update their traction plate. It's definitely not my favorite on the market, 
but it does pretty good. It performs well in both grass and turf. The next thing we're going to talk about is the style of the cleat. Honestly, I really like how these look. I think it's a really clean silhouette. It's a pretty streamlined looking cleat and clearly speed oriented. It has some really nice details like the unique quilt pattern on the upper, the chrome UA logo on the side of the heel, the UA word mark on the back loop, the spotlight wording on the front loop, and the little clone wording on the side. And lastly, the gradient colorways are really cool as well. Also, this whole cleat has triangles or arrows all over the entire thing, and that's pretty cool. As far as colorways, this cleat comes in 14 colorways, so you guys should have no problem finding whatever colorway you need for your team. Then they also have some limited edition colorways like the World Tour pair we unboxed. Overall, these are a pretty clean pair of cleats, and they come in plenty of colorways. The next thing we're gonna talk about is what position these cleats are gonna be best for. Historically, the under spotlight has been a skill football cleat, and these are gonna be no different. These are gonna be great for QBs, running backs, wide receivers, and DBs. They're definitely a lighter speed-oriented cleat, but they also have a little bit of ankle support, which is really nice. And honestly, if you're a linebacker or a tight end, you want something lighter, but you still want a little bit of ankle support, these might be a really good option for you. Overall, these are a good skill option, especially for guys who spat their ankles anyway, because it does give you that spat light feeling with this ankle cup. The next thing we're going to talk about is the price. These cleats retail for 130 bucks. 130 seems to be the going rate for a skilled pair of football cleats these days. And then the limited edition colorways are gonna be 140. But for under 30 bucks, I think it's a solid value, but I still think there's some other cleats at that price point that I would prefer. Overall, I actually like these a lot and I think they are miles better than last year's version. These cleats right here, they might look the same, but they are incredibly different. These are just much more comfortable and the fit is excellent. Like I said, it gives you like a custom fit, which is really nice. The booty on these feels amazing and the ankle cuff isn't just for looks. It actually gives you some really spat-like ankle support, which is nice. They also look good and come in plenty of different colorways to choose from. Believe it or not, Under Armour football is back on the rise and these cleats are clear proof of that. There you guys have it. There's the full unboxing review on the Under Armour Spotlight Clone 3.0 football cleats. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, like this video, comment what you guys want to see us review next. Subscribe for more videos just like this one. My name is Devin, also known as FBE. And thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode of Footballers. Bye-bye.